everyone, welcome back to Jill and Sean See the World. We're going to do a very, very quick ship review of the Norwegian Jade. Now this ship was built in 2009 but has just come out of dry dock and you can tell the Norwegian spent some time and put a little thought into keeping the ship uh, modern and fresh. Um, it was our first time on a Norwegian ship and definitely won't be our last. Now, Embarking in Athens, as you can see, they do not have a huge cruise terminal, but you just cross the concrete there and head straight up your gangway. As with most modern ships, you can see it has a central atrium. The upstairs there is the Oshihan's sports bar and grill. Uh, and right here you can see down there, that is the champagne bar and lounge where they usually, every night they had a guy playing piano and singing songs. We spent many nights there. This is the Bliss Lounge. They had uh, entertainment there almost all day, every day as well. This is where we spent most of our time. This is the Spinnaker Lounge up on deck 12. Uh, this was the largest dance floor. Um, they did, you know, any show that was outside of uh, the main theater there. They also held their uh, cha-cha lessons there. Say hello, Joe. Now, every day we would do a few laps of the walking track there, and it's four laps to a mile if anyone's ever interested. Now, we're going to see here, this is the uh, pool deck right below us there. You can see the one pool that is the family pool. Uh, on the far side of that little gazebo thing there is the adults only pool. Both pools were nice and warm and well, very clean. Now, down here on the main pool deck to the left there is the uh, snack bar, uh, burgers, fries, salads, that kind of thing. And just past it there is the, our favorite uh, bar, the pool bar. Uh, guys, we're always uh, happy to help you there. Now up on the second deck here, there's another small bar. It was also uh, connected to the drink, uh, the smoking area, sorry. We didn't spend a lot of time up there, but every once in a while it was a nice place to sit and watch the little bar. At the back of the ship, there was a beautiful sun deck and another small uh, small bar right off of the buffet. They actually had a small buffet that was only open when the main buffet, which we see here, was closed to um, uh, switch over between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, now, it wasn't the biggest buffet we've ever been to. The food was uh, it was very, very good. Um, sometimes it was difficult to find a seat. Sometimes you had to go and sit uh, somewhere else. This is the Grand Pacific. This is one of the main dining rooms. We chose to eat most of our dinners there. Uh, they have another one called Alzar. It's a little more modern. This here is Cagney's Steakhouse. Uh, I think the keg, very good. A little, you know, it's, uh, of course, a la carte, not included. Now, we, whenever possible, we do visit the Tapanaki when we're on a ship. This one was very well run. The food was delicious. The, uh, the we're gonna call them performers more than chefs. Uh, they did a really good job. Now you're thinking, what about the room? Well, we're about to see the rooms. Jill and I booked ourselves into uh, a standard balcony room. We were right near the back of room 9164, I believe it was. Nice, very comfortable king size bed, small uh, love seat, uh, you know, standard balcony like any most ships. Now, the one thing I did notice about this ship, this particular room, is the uh, desk space was quite small. For someone like myself who has lots of camera gear, a little more space would have been nice, just so I can charge my equipment, put my camera down, so be safe. Jill was very happy with the number of hangers there. Now the bathroom is was the one part of the cabin that I was was a little uh, older. Um, now, but everything was great. All in all, I would highly recommend uh, any of this class of Norwegian ship. The only thing that I can say about the ship is I found it a little confusing because there's two main dining rooms. Um, they sometimes got difficult to know which deck you had to be on to get from the midship to the aft because the kitchen was in the way. So you'd have to go up a deck and down a deck. But if that's my only complaint, that's a pretty good ship. Thanks for watching.